So, welcome back to an update video on the hub. Now, if you don't know what the hub is, this is a piece of equipment that we wired onto a test property and what it's supposed to do is bring you extra revenue for your solar system. Now, when the manufacturer pitched this to us, we were like, mm, okay, we believe you, let us test it. So, we installed one, we've been testing it, we've been monitoring it. And in the last video we did, we said we would do an update. Well, here is your update. Now, before we dive into it, I wanna give you a quick overview of what does the hub do? Well, it's all linked to what's called grid services. Now, grid services are essentially using your battery along with thousands of other home batteries to support the national grid. As we move to more renewable energy, what this does is put more strain on the grid because it's off and it's on and it's windy and it's not windy and they need to balance the grid to stop it from going out of phase or the voltage gets too high, gets too low. When this happens, they call on your battery and say, hey, can you help us out? The hub says, yes, we can, we've got reserves let's help you out and you get money for it. Now, when we first got into this, that's what I thought this was all about, but it turns out it's a bit more than that because what it does is it takes control of the battery and takes it sort of to another level. It gives it advanced instruction to say, discharge, charge, export, consume. After a while, we get used to it. We start to learn how this system works and how it can save you money but you need to be prepared for a few things so let's dive into the savings let's look at some of the ways it works let's look at how much revenue it's generated us from these grid services and then you can make your own decision is the hub worth it so this is the actual hub app now this is where it gives you all the information about what your system is doing in real time how it's controlling it and what savings you've made. Now, what's important to know is that the hub essentially controls your battery. So this is an alpha ESS system and it has its own BMS, its own battery management system, but Levelize has a cable that goes into it and essentially it's like a parasite, but a nice one that controls the battery. And therefore it does behave differently to if you've gone from just having an alpha system and then you have this, you'll be a bit like, what's it doing? It never did that before. You've just got to trust the process. So this is the screen right now. So as you can see, 287 watt consumption, we're generating 239 watt. Now randomly, although that could be covered, which it is, it's choosing to charge the battery. So you look at that and think, why are you taking 258 watt from the grid to charge the battery? It's because it knows later on there might be, or it thinks later on, there might be a grid event. It might have to support the grid and it's putting power back into the battery, even though we're buying it from the grid at the current market rate. This customer is on the Octopus Go tariff. So right now they're paying like 25 pence per kilowatt hour for energy. They technically don't need to be on the grid now because the generation is covering the home load. But Level Eyes is saying, no, we're going to charge this battery. We're currently at 81%. We're going to get it topped up. So that's the first thing you need to get over is trust the process. I just realized I made an error. I said the customer was importing energy at 25 pence. They're not, they're on Octopus Go. Now what's cool about this app is that you import your tariff and it updates the live rates for your area. So obviously there's been a change in the cost of energy. It's actually increased now to 27.263 pence per kilowatt hour. Export is a flat line at 15 pence per kilowatt hour and between Midnight and 5 a.m., this customer is paying 8.5 pence per kilowatt hour. So that's their current energy cost. So when we're talking before about that battery charging now, that's charging at like 27 pence, but it's making that decision because it thinks or it knows, I'm not quite sure yet, it's going to make that money back and some later on tonight. So to get an overview of how much this hub is saving its customer, we need to understand their home a little bit more. Now they've been really kind and they've given us access to their Octopus Energy account. 
Now this is a really busy home. They've got two EVs, they're a family of five, and one of them works from home. So they are using a lot of energy. And as we can see here, just on the Octopus app, in the month of February, which is quite a short month, they use 555 kilowatt hours. Now, if we times that by their current energy rate, 0 0.27 pence, it would have cost them £150 for their energy. However, the energy bill was £71 for imported energy, but they exported £25. So their net energy bill is like £47, something like that. That's really cheap for a property that's using sort of six and a half thousand kilowatt hours per year. Most people would be very happy with that energy bill. Now, to verify some of this and to see what's going on, we looked at the Alpha app because this property has 10 solar panels and an Alpha battery. So it's got a four kilowatt peak system and it's got a 10 kilowatt hour battery. Now the Alpha app shows us what's been going on at the home. And for the month of February, as we can see here, the load, 544, so pretty much what Octopus was saying. Grid consumption, 554. Feeding back to the grid, 170 kilowatt hours, and their solar generated 173. So February was a pretty poor month for solar in the UK. So what's really strange here is everything that they've generated, they've pretty much exported and they've been charging the battery at night on those cheap off-peak rates. But the solar system seems to have exported all that energy. Now, if we do a quick math here on that, so 170 kilowatt hours times 0 0.15, 25 pounds. So again, the Octopus app is pretty accurate to what's going on here. All that energy has been exported. So Levelize has its own savings calculator, but they do give you all these calculations in one place. So let's look at what they claim they saved us for February. So you simply click February, show savings, and in the center there, it shows us 111 pounds and 54 pence. Now, just quick maths on this. We know that this customer used 550 kilowatt hours in that short month. We know they generated 170 kilowatt hours of solar, and that's worth 45 pound if you consumed all of the energy. But what you typically see with solar and battery is you would self consume on site about 70%. Now, we know they had export, but that was controlled by Levelize, and we saw that in the Octopus app, but it actually breaks it down here for us. So, 72 pounds of our 111 pound savings came from arbitrage. This is essentially buying energy cheap at night and using it in the day. Then we had 26 pounds and four pence that came from export. Now. I would say before this hub was attached to this alpha system, it would never have exported that much energy. We see this all the time on this test rig, it's constantly exporting to the grid. There must be an algorithm driving this, it's probably gonna be a lot more profitable in summer, so there's no way under normal circumstances it would have exported in February to that extent. We then had £9.61 from Flexibility. Now, flexibility is the grid services element of the hub. This is where the grid has needed frequency, it's needed voltage, and the battery has sent it out to balance it. And then we had about another £3.60 coming from efficiency and self-consumption. And this is where the hub provides an additional layer of efficiency. What it does is look at a three kilowatt inverter on this battery, and if it sees a 100 watt load, it will make the decision, don't turn the battery on to cover 100 watts. By the time you've converted that energy, fired the inverter up, for 100 watts of energy, it's not worth using the battery. Save that power for later on when we can export to the grid or when there's gonna be a grid event and we can dump more voltage in. So that totals 111 pounds and 54 pence. Now, if you were to put this against a well set up system, you're probably looking at about a £35 advantage by having the hub. When we speak to the operator of the hub, what they will tell you is bigger systems with bigger batteries earn more cash. This is a pretty small system. It's like four kilowatt peak 
it's 10 kilowatt hours of battery, but it's only got a three kilowatt inverter. So there's only so much energy that can come in and go out at once. What we're looking at here right now is about 360 pounds based on these predictions. However, when we get into summer, we're likely to get a lot more export managed via the hub. Now the hub operator does claim a typical system is looking between four and 500 pounds. So what we're going to do, we're going to keep an eye on it. We're going to keep reporting on it and we're going to keep checking in to see whether those claims are accurate so far. We seem to be on track. So there you have it, the hub update. Now we thought that was pretty interesting. At first, like I said, we were pretty taken back by what was going on with the system. We actually thought it was broke. You've got to trust the process. Now, things you need to know. Well, right now it only works with Alpha and it only works with Solax inverters. So if you want to have one of these, you need to have it with that system. We are going to be offering this as an upgrade with Alpha systems here in the UK. So if you have a system installed by Heatable, you can have this as an optional upgrade. What we need to be clear around is we don't guarantee any of these savings. This is a piece of equipment that we are testing and we are just sharing the information with you guys. So if you want one, you're picking it, we're not recommending it. Now, if you do want to get a quote for solar, then head over to heatable.co.uk and we can give you a fixed price to have solar installed with a battery. And if you fancy a hub, we can add one on to your order.